Car spotting, guys. That's a nice truck. I'd rock that for sure. And you could probably drive it for a million kilometers. <laughs> Nothing. Hunting afternoons sucks. Hey, speaking of Hot Wheels, there's something you guys know I'm really choosy about the Redline Club stuff. Um, because it's not rare anymore. Like they're making these huge runs and they're doing the same cars over and over in different colors. And there's actually one coming out tomorrow that's caught my eye a little bit. Well, by the time you guys see this, it might be past that tomorrow. Check that thing out, guys. You guys know I like oddball stuff. Back window even says wash me. Look at the detail on that thing. Now, wait till you see the packaging. Uh, this isn't a regular Hot Wheels. It's by Mischief, like a collaboration by Mischief, I believe. Comes missing the tire. It just looks like a junker car. I love the packaging it comes in. Wait till you see, check that out guys, look at the packaging, used for 2024, guaranteed clunker, oh, I'm down on my luck peg hunting this week. Going a little bit of a hunt while you guys help me think it over, should I get one of those? See what's cooking, don't forget too, I'm on afternoons this week, so it's not our good hunting week. Afternoons is usually slow for hunting if I'm not there in the morning, but I have fluked out a couple times. Yuck. Bingo, bingo. I'm not taking all those. Just a portion, one maybe. That's what I'm taking. See? Put them all back. Skylines, and there's still more skylines in there. I mean, these are the most loaded I've seen in these bags, but take what I need, leave the rest. Yeah, that's okay, nobody's in a hurry or anything. Got a truck towing a car. This white car ahead of me was taken forever. Anyway, that's not a bad hunt, guys, what we just found. A lot of people, that would be uh, Centennial Night Scalper Paradise, what we just walked into there. But you take what you need, you leave the rest. Um, I got those for a guy that didn't have any. I already have some. My circle has some. We're all good. So we took for somebody that didn't have any. So about the car tomorrow, what do you guys think about that? It's pretty sweet. Do you think I should get one? Not get one? What are you thinking? Okay, this is getting old now. Come on. I mean, at least he's trying to take the back roads. But that's why I take the back roads, because nobody's on these roads. These guys sell cars in here, that used tire place. They also sell cars. They had a car almost same year as mine, but red. It didn't have a spot of rust on it, but I don't know how much they were selling it for. So what do you think? Should I order it tomorrow? Don't mind me. I'm going to go hit the floor and uh, I'll let you guys figure it out for me. I'll be right back. Hey Retro, hold on. What is the controversy surrounding MSCHF's Satan shoes? Where to start here? Long story short, the controversy and saga surrounding MSCHF's Satan shoes stemmed from their collaboration with rapper Lil Nas X, who released a limited edition line of Nike Air Max 97s with MSCHF. Shoes that featured pentagrams, a drop of human blood in the soul, and the words Luke 10, 18, a reference to Satan's fall from heaven printed on the side. Naturally, Nike sued MSCHF for trademark infringement and the companies reached a settlement with MSCHF agreeing to issue refunds. Cool story, I see, but um, I'm still likely going to order one of those cars. And that it makes it even more interesting for me because there's a cool story behind it. 
What do you say we lock up and get out of here? And go check the store and see if we have continued luck. Okay, she's all locked up, guys. Ooh, it's nipply at 21. So about what I found earlier at Toys R Us, you guys seen I grabbed two of each cars, left a crap load of those Skylines and Porsches and other cars. Like I didn't just, some guys will take all the cherries off the pegs. All my friends already have them. I want people to get them that don't have them. Um, that's kind of the point of collecting. Now with Toys R Us, I'm always preaching, if you're a toy hunter, there is no set stock time at Toys R Us, at least I've heard, that I've heard about in this area. So, um, if you're going by a Toys R Us, stop in, for sure, because you never know. And sorry, I'm getting that little foggy thing on the window there, but um, if you're ever passing a Toys R Us, Stop in because you never know what you can find. I'll see if I can. Oh, some of it's gone. Uh, because like I said, they don't have a stock time. I know a guy that was there at 10 this morning when they cracked the doors. And nothing. And that's why when I'm on morning shift, I do Toys R or Walmart now instead of Toys R Us. Because... There's more of a chance of me scoring something. If I score at least one or two days in a week when I'm on mornings, I'm happy. And that's usually what I end up, at least one day I score. But I don't put in the time that I used to a couple years ago. So I think I do okay for how I do anyway. Um, but yeah, to my amazement, all my friends, nobody that I messaged needed any of those skylines and of course when I did remember somebody somebody that's helped me in the past I messaged him and he would have taken a few I was like damn it so tomorrow morning I'm gonna go there and I hope that there's some left and I'm gonna if there is any left I'm gonna pick him up a couple or hide him a couple whatever but he's gonna get a couple but that's how I do it um Believe me, if I wanted to clean the pegs off today, that would have been something good. If I was doing it for monetary reasons or just to be greedy, that would have been... I'd have cleaned up today, guys. Like that, and anything Skyline with Hot Wheels, especially a premium R34. Especially that one. Like, it's one of the nicer ones. Yeah, but just not in me. I just take what I need and what my friends need and but like I said I will clean the pegs off if it's something that nobody has and that I can help out a bunch of people I do that because if I don't do it then it goes to the wrong people and it's gonna cost extra but unfortunately now Toys R Us which is to the right over there is closed so we're limited to Wally, so we'll go in and see Wally. We're here 50 minutes or so earlier because we got our work done earlier. Uh, but we'll go in and have a uh, gander here. There's been Popo here the last couple nights. I don't know if it's for shoplifters. There was a woman that was like drugged right out in the store the other day. She wasn't. She was just singing, dancing, stuff like that. Like, wasn't really violent or anything. But, yeah, lately they've been getting some action here. We've also got to pick up a can of chili for tonight's dinner. Thought I had a can last night, went home just craving my chili cheese fries, and nope. I have a disabled pass, but I don't use the uh, disabled parking unless I need it, or unless I'm pretty sure it's going to be empty, or both. I try not to use it, though, unless I have, or if I'm really sore, like if winter comes I'll be using it probably more let's go and see have a look 
Bottom line is though, guys, if you don't try, zero results, zero chance. It's like what happened today. I did not expect that at all. Not even in the least. Clear eyes. What sounds like clear eyes? Nah. Pools. I think it's pretty hopping in here for the time of night it is, but it's also end of the month. So that probably have, might have something to do with it. A lot of people get paid. I don't smell night scalper shit yet. Um, that's not to say she won't come. Uh, is that a night scalper cart? Ah, uh, not a... You got nothing here. Nothing. Same crap guys, those same dioramas. So you gotta be here right time. And for this store it's usually either late at night, early in the morning. Uh huh. I mean eight. You were showing me these, but yeah, they do look pretty small. But that car, the Homer car I have is only uh one of twenty-four scale, so be interesting to stand them beside it. They're at Walmart, guys, if anybody's wondering. Cobra hmm. Kai. No wrestling figures to get chases from. No platinum chases. Here's the Transformers Ace, if you watch my video. Secret ingredient to my fries, my chili fries. It's gotta be the spicy one, though. Not the regular, the spicy one. Well, that's it, guys. I just wanted to touch base, say hello, pop by. Um, see if you guys, any of you guys, if you're going to get that car, let me know what you think about it. Um, so far, mixed results. Some people are getting it. Some people are saying $41 for a main line. That's nuts. Let me know in the comments if you're going to pick one up. And the next video will be an unboxing. Me and Glenn have just been working some pretty crazy hours. Um, next video I do will be an unboxing. I just wanted to come by, say hello. You guys know what I'm going to say. Do me a favor, smash the like button for old retro. Come on, subscribe if you haven't, guys. And as always, make sure you check Toys R Us all the time. And... Happy hunting. This beat is stupid grimy. Huh, that's a Cobra Kai kick. Just some open eyes should open eyes when I spit. I get wound up like dogs around a postmaster. The dough stack up with no mana.